On Tuesday, the 3rd of June, 2025, the geoscience world was shocked by two volcanic events that occurred almost simultaneously in two very distant locations. An unusual hydrothermal eruption in the Biscuit Basin for the second time, part of an active geothermal system in Yellowstone National Park, USA, and the eruption of Mount Etna in Sicily, Italy. While there is no direct evidence that these two events are causally related, their occurrence in such close proximity raises an important question. Could there be a deeper connection between these volcanic systems through the global network of magma systems beneath the Earth's surface? Biscuit Basin just hours before Etna's eruption, the region's second hydrothermal eruption in two years occurred. It sent hot mud and steam up to 20 meters 60 feet, high, cracking the surface layer and changing the morphology of several hot pools. Mount Etna Erupted on the 3rd of June, 2025, spewing ash 4 miles 6.5 kilometers high, accompanied by lava flows and mild seismic activity. It was the fourth eruption in 12 months. Both events occurred without apparent warning and with unusual intensity for their respective regions. In the middle of the calm and cloudy atmosphere in the Yellowstone area, a small eruption in Yellowstone National Park that happened over the weekend was caught on video by a newly installed webcam. According to the US Geological Survey, the eruption happened Saturday evening at Black Diamond Pool in Biscuit Basin. On May 14, a new webcam was installed at Biscuit Basin to track activity at Black Diamond Pool, where a hydrothermal explosion occurred last summer. The agency wrote in its Volcano Observatory update on the park. A hydrothermal explosion occurs when water suddenly turns to steam underground. In July 2024, a much larger blast at the pool sent debris flying hundreds of feet into the air and damaged a boardwalk used by visitors to the National Park. Biscuit Basin was closed for the remainder of the summer. According to the USGS, there is monitoring data and eyewitness accounts that suggest there have been sporadic eruptions at Black Diamond Pool several times since last year's explosion. Officials said hydrothermal explosions typically occur in the park one to a few times per year, but often in the backcountry where they may not be immediately detected. Similar but smaller explosions occurred at Porkchop Geyser in 1989. Shortly after, a massive eruption at Mount Etna forced tourists to flee the volcano on Monday after a plume of high temperature gases, ash and rock several kilometers high billowed into the air above them, Italian authorities said. Footage posted on social media shows long lines of people hurrying downhill away from the explosion, while the owner of one tour company told CNN they had 40 people on the Sicilian volcano when it erupted. Giuseppe Panfalo, a guide with Goetna, filmed his tour group huddled together with an enormous ash cloud in the distance. We were nearly grazed. Look at this cloud here. We were two steps away and thank goodness we have a responsible guide with us, he says in the video shared with CNN. It arrived all at once. An immense smoke. Immense. 
immense roar. About a dozen tour operators work on Aetna at any given time, the Sicilian Civil Protection Agency told CNN, adding that they are contacting all of them to ensure everyone is accounted for. The volcano on the Italian island is a popular tourist destination, visited by 1.5 million people a year, many of whom trek almost all the way to its summit. Although Mount Etna is one of the world's most active volcanoes, there hasn't been an eruption of this magnitude since 2014, according to the National Institute of Geophysics and Volcanology Observatory. These eruptions often stop as quickly as they start, the observatory added, though explosions are still increasing in intensity and the mountain is spewing out a very small amount of lava and fire. This eruption, which began overnight, produced explosions heard as far away as Tarmina and Catania, which are about 50 kilometers and 40 kilometers. 31 miles and 25 miles away, respectively, according to several witnesses who posted footage on social media. The observatory said that the preliminary observations show a partial collapse of the northern flank of the volcano's southeast crater, which has produced spectacular lava flows during recent eruptions in the last few months. None of the ash is expected to fall on Catania, the city at the foot of the volcano, though authorities are prepared to alert people to take cover if the wind changes, the city's mayor Enrico Tarantino told CNN. Nearby airports in Catania and Palermo remain open too, as currently the wind is not blowing the ash in that direction. The Sicilian Civil Protection Agency instructed all flight travel to avoid the area and some flights from Catania have been directed to Palermo, according to flight radar data. Authorities have closed many of the roads heading up to the volcano to prevent people trying to get close to the eruption and from getting in the way of first responders and emergency vehicles, Tarantino added. Around 1 p.m. local time, 7 a.m. ET, the volcano started spewing hot lava, which is more in line with previous eruptions, an observatory spokesman said. The observatory defined the volcanic activity as a pyroclastic eruption, resulting in a significant increase in volcanic tremor and the formation of an eruptive column containing a lethal mixture of high-temperature gases, lava grains, volcanic ash and rock fragments of various sizes that rapidly descends down the slopes of the volcano. However, the occurrence of eruptions at these two sites at almost the same time has sparked debate. Some experts question whether this is just a geological coincidence or whether there is a global pattern or mechanism that is not yet fully understood. So far, there is no scientific evidence that directly links the volcanic activity at Yellowstone and Etna. Both are located on different tectonic plates, with magma and geological systems that are not directly connected to each other. However, some scientists speculate that global phenomena such as activity in the Earth's core, long-distance seismic waves, or even the influence of tidal forces on the Earth due to the Moon and Sun could trigger a domino effect on the world's volcanic systems.